All right, here we go. This is a following along with this Covington High School stuff. Uh, it's been very interesting to see the um, four or five day turnaround on this story and how you keep seeing people going for the same type of message, even though uh, pretty much everything that has been released shows that the boys were not the aggressors, that they were actually standing there waiting for their bus, that they were doing high school chants to drown out the um, racist, homophobic, hate speech, you know, I love, I don't like to use that word a lot, but that's, uh, that's what these people were chanting at them the whole time. And here are the developing news stories around what's happened after well, the At the fact. center of a controversial video closed Tuesday due to safety concerns. Over the weekend, a video of racially charged incident between... All right, we're going to see that right there. It's a racially charged incident that uh, really wasn't a racially charged incident, except for the people spouting hate towards everyone. And then Native Americans decided to go into the boys for a media frenzy. <laughs> A small now you see a protest going on at a Catholic diocese. You have a handful of Native Americans followed around by a, another group who go and directly protest the fact that their protest didn't go as well as they wanted. A little inappropriate, a little disrespectful for the kid to just be like smug with a little smirk on his face. Hey, hey, hey. This is some of the first video. Now, in order to have you have to have a base level of racism in order to get there. Um, kids standing there, not moving. Go of the event, an angle that makes it appear Phillips was being treated disrespectfully. But more video. Do you mean that the uh, people who shared the video, we give them in a good light, did something to make it look one way and then the media just ran with it? Or do you mean that they did any research whatsoever. Videos followed. This one shows a I group known as the Black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, there's your hate mob right there. School chief Lincoln ahead. Memorial tweeting that the students had been treated unfairly and smeared by the media. Twitter has suspended the account that posted the initial video and retweeted it hundreds of times. But Twitter has not suspended any of the other people who uh, made death threats at the children publicly and, or, uh, and they're not even enforcing your traction of statements. You just Twitter doesn't care. This is a left, left, leftist idea, and it moves forward. Times calling the students a mag. CBS News has learned the account at 20. Use the behaved, but Sh Killian, CBS News, Washington. All right, now we're gonna go to the end of this video here. Now I'm gonna turn this up so you can hear. Let's see, now you see this guy here. This, if you go to the very end, this guy is the grandson, and he is telling the white kids that they don't deserve to be there, even though, what? I don't know what his reason would be, because that's sort of the country that's here now was built by European colonials who, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> See, the kid is a little rude there, messing with this guy who's just there strictly to cause problems. He's not there being friendly or being kind. He's there because he needs to get his message out. And he's recorded doing this, and this is why this whole interaction started. Now, you notice that the kid everybody's going after here, the Nick Sandman, they are, he's finally broke eye contact. This is, uh, if you get to the very end, shows him as his grandson of the guy beating the drum. Look, and he's trying to get his friend to stop talking to him, and now you start to see that he's realizing that they're there to get them involved in the protest in a negative manner. And you see the other kids all starting to notice it, too. All right, they all move away. Kids are moving away. You're only surrounded by the one group. Look at him. 
I know that's <laughs> just anger everywhere for that. And you can go to YouTube, you can see the full hour and 30. The last time when's the last time you've been a Roman you've been a Roman when's the last time you so-called blacks Hispanics been a Roman that's oh, it's just awful uh Vox News MAGA hats clash between boy and the elder and unfolded Vox News of course only takes a very limited approach of it um initially clear cut uh folder picture <sighs> Many step forward with additional footage. So basically they're saying that because people did the job of the media that the story has changed. Um, you go through this. Diocese apologize. Uh, veteran of the Marines. About the incident each time he said he was trying to defuse the situation. But apparently he was trying to encourage the situation. Uh, over the black Hebrew Israelites who are a known hate group. Uh, Jewish people, white people, gays and lesbians. And if you watch the full video, they're going after the Native Americans as well. You know, don't want to skip around. Um, we're probably never going to know what happened. You can watch multiple angles of this, multiple videos. And as long as you look at this in an objective fashion, you can see that very little happened this is not one of those things where you can really <laughs> you have to worry about it you can watch the video there's a hate group that's yelling at the everyone then they're yelling at the native americans and then they begin yelling at the kids the kids respond as kids and try and drown out the noise all of this uh, about to go back to Africa is false. He did not hear any of those things. And if you watch all the videos, that is said nowhere in any of the videos that have came out from this. Nothing. Tomahawk Chop, again, if you watch the video, the kids initially believe that Nathan Phillips is coming into them, joining in, so they join in with him, copy his chant, copy his rhythm. And then such and so forth this is one a video i saw where apparently uh, i'm so tired already <laughs> really don't know what's going on but she's saying uh Covington catholic boys were harassing so they were cat calling a girl this is now illegal in the united states uh, apparently um That the Covington boys just kind of like surrounded us as we tried to move. No, this is a lie. You just put a lie into your story there, Vox. That's a lie. Um, clearly from the video, you can just watch it and see it didn't happen. Even though I'm still angry, forgiveness in my heart. I have forgiveness for the people that I approached, that I made up a big lie for, and that I went into it. Uh, here we go. Far from engaging in rat rat racially motivated harassment, the group of mostly white MAGA hat wearing male teenagers remained calm, restrained despite being suspected, subject to incessant racist, homophobic, and bigoted verbal abuse by members of a bizarre religious sect, the black Hebrew Israelites, who were lurking nearby. This needs to be basically the only line of the story uh, because everything else that Vox is going for, as you read through here, uh, March for Life organizer who condemned the actions. They've removed their tweet. Everyone is having to play back. Nathan Phillips sure gets harassed by kids a lot. He's tried this before. He tried it at a party on a college in 2015. There was no party. There was no one there. He just got a good, uh, trying to get a good media storm going. Um, now this is something that's been going on here after the fact. These are Native Americans protesting the Catholic diocese in Covington, Kentucky. Park Hills, Kentucky moved in. Uh, she found it odd. Behavior didn't fit what she knew of the students. However, the 
behavior has been flipped. Students were doing nothing wrong, nearly two hour video. There you go. Our children are being used as pawns for an ulterior leftist agenda, she said. Here are the Native Americans going to protest the fact that they're um, that they were protested on by the black Hebrew Israelites and people don't believe that a man who was not accosted was not accosted. That is being very difficult. Uh, they're having a prayer in front of it. Brave frigid temperatures with about 40 people that came down from far away. Um, Catholic Church during Friday's talks extend off into a teaching moment. Message of reconciliation as about they were trying to do a message of reconciliation as death threats were coming in against the school um again you see the farthest left the hate groups attacking the school which I've, i'll say it all the time twitter is a hate mob it needs to be shut down overly monitored it is truly um just going on phillips has offered to meet with students and dialogue about cultural appropriation racism and the importance of being respect being of listening and respecting diverse cultures. Kids were respectful to them. The kids were not uh, in it. Cultural appropriation is an ignorant thing. Culture is meant to be spread. Racism, yes, you and uh, Phillips and his grandson in the video were being racist towards the kids. The black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites were being racist towards not only the Native American protesters, but also the white high school kids. So... Maybe they should go and respect diverse cultures with the black Hebrew Israelites who are the racial hate group. Um, the objective here is not to make the kids look bad. However, everything that has been done by this is to point out the kids and what they did versus everyone else who was a bad actor in this. Uh, as you go through, you can read these stories, the Washington Post, uh, flip through here's a fox story video here we go ready but he's going to say how the kids have been proven innocent and everything else is showing off is just madness go school at the center of that viral video appearing to show students taunting a native american elder that school has called off classes today the local paper citing security concerns it comes to students involved in the incident are speaking out and President Trump is also now students are speaking out and President Trump is also speaking out now he in the first bit there 15 seconds 18 seconds didn't mention anything that most of this has been proven uh, untrue already speaking out about it NBC's Gabe Gutierrez has been following the story there in Kentucky he's there with the very latest uh, Gabe what are students uh, what are they saying about all of this there? In case you didn't know where the place was, there you go. Oh, hi, Craig. Good morning. Well, before I get to the students' response, I want to show you where I am right now. We're outside the diocese here in Covington, Kentucky, and there is a small demonstration going on right now. by a small demonstration of roughly 40 people who came down there to protest the fact that these kids did nothing wrong. Essentially, you had uh, were being told to get out of the country. Some racist slurs from racist slurs from the uh, Native Americans that were there in their protest, and it really only looked like four or five Native Americans were part of that. The rest of them were either white people or black people filming it, and then of course the five members of the Black Hebrew Israelites. Now that student released a statement saying that he, uh, that group was taunted uh, by a, a group of African American protesters that were there, known as the Hebrew is Israelites, and they say that they were merely performing those school chants in response. Now, the level of journalism has dropped. Um, they have done nothing to actually cover the story, they are just reporting um, clips. They haven't done any research. There's nothing going on here other than just report what's popular and hope no one does any research whatsoever. Response to that, and that's when the Native American elder came into the middle of it. Now, here um, uh, we, we heard from one of those students whose parents didn't want us to show his face. Take a listen at how he described the situation. There was three Native American people there. One of them was jumping up and down, so our guys start jumping up and down, clapping. We're yeah, all right. We're going to go through this. 
So he's there doing it, so they're getting involved with it because, again, they think he's supporting them. We're dancing with him, like, I just don't see how we were, I mean, they were just going along with what... Yeah, white kids can't dance. Who would have thought? They thought was fun. Now this has turned into an extremely politically charged debate, of course, a president weighing in over... Now this has turned into an increasingly politically charged debate because we, the media, cannot tell you what actually happened. We have got to slant the story to get the narrative out there, white people bad. Night and this morning, Covington Catholic High School is closed today. Uh, a voicemail to came from the principal by our affiliate WLWT, also saying that it was closed because of security concerns, even though many schools in the area were closed because of inclement weather. But again, this is underway right now, this small demonstration. And we've spoken with people on both sides, both uh, supporters of the students and those who thought that they were in the wrong, correct? All right, Gabe Gutierrez there in Kentucky. Gabe, th now you'll notice there that there's absolutely no coverage of any of that. We spoke with them. We're right, not going to give you anything. We President just talked Trump, to them. Um, fired off two tweets about the controversy. The most recent being this morning: Nick Sandman and the students of Covington have become symbols of fake news and how evil it can be. They've ca yeah, you and your people there at MSNBC sent out a fake story. Got children death threats, and now you're skipping over all wrongdoing. Captivated the attention of the world, and I know they will use it for the good, maybe even to bring people together. It started off unpleasant, but can end in a dream. Um, again, that tweet coming from the president. Mr. Secretary, there are reports that there are... Yeah, there you go. Absolutely no admission of wrongdoing, nothing. Media was perfectly fine and valid in their statements. And that's it. Welcome to the new world where we make mistakes and all we want to do is blame someone else. Thank you and have a great day.